What's up, YouTube? Got me a haul. Want to share what I found this past week. It's all from LCSs with the exception of this one. This is Heavy Metal 2011, our germ cover. Uh, every time I see Heavy Metals, I always look for this. It's just super hard to find. I've never seen in the wild ever. Um, came across a listing for it for under $20 shipped to me on eBay. I think it was like 18, 17 something. I don't really remember, but it was definitely in that area. Um, I was like, okay, well, if I'm going to get it, now's the time because it's usually a lot more than that. And um, I was happy with it. I'm happy it's here. Happy to add to the collection. It makes me happy. Um, so that's my my one non LCS pickup. Um, we'll start with this pile here, and then we'll get to the other stuff here. So a lot of them were uh, dollar bins, cover price. Um, you know, some some wall books, just a little bit of everything. So when I go through it, I'll just I'll just tell you. Uh, this was cover. Uh, Gotham, and they're all mixed stores. There's probably about four different stores I went to in my area. So um, I'll just show them. Uh, they're not in any order by stores or anything. They're just what I found. Uh, Gotham Academy number one. Uh, that was cover. That was pretty hot the other day. Uh, this one here, the Spectre number 62. This is the last appearance. The last, the last one in the in the issue in the run. Um, and it's the first full appearance of Mr. Terrific. Uh, that was a dollar. Uh, it's, it's probably a 10, $15 book on a regular basis. Found a dollar uh, for this one, District X. I was like, ah, why not? It was hot the other day. It was a dollar. Um, uh, I'll get it. Um, I found this one for a dollar. Deathstroke, 59, second to last issue. Okay. Uh, Secret Origins, 46, the first appearance of Arm Off Boy for a dollar. Um, yeah, sure, why not? Nathan Fillion, Suicide Squad 2 coming out. Haunted Mansion number one, third printing for a dollar. Okay. Yeah, I hit some dollar bins. Uh, Superior number one, dollar. Jupiter's Legacy number one, dollar. Uh, Nova Annihilation, a dollar. Uh, this is just the Nova number one from the 2007 series, I think. Okay, it was a dollar. Uh, this was a dollar two. Um, ignore the sticker price. Uh, it was a dollar. Uh, just a cool cover. Nova 36. Um, some more dollars. Um, Nemesis number one dollar. Okay, that's kind of cool. Mark Miller. You never know. Razor line a dollar. This is the Clive Barker Universe preview. Heck, it's a dollar. I wouldn't pay any more than that. Um, this is my second one. Um, I don't know. I'm in no hurry to get a bunch of them, but why not when you see it for a dollar? This was one of my better dollar finds. Uh, Suicide Squad uh, from 1987, I think it is. Um, so that was kind of good to get. I was happy to get that one. Um, for a dollar, this is probably my other one of my other better dollar finds. Ultimate X number one. First appearance of Jimmy Hudson. Okay, cool. Uh, these are low grades, but they were a dollar a piece, and I was like, eh, why not? Uh, Justice Society of America, number 71, and number 70. Um, they're definitely low grades, but they were a dollar. I was like, eh, okay, why not? It's the second and third appearance of the Huntress, so I was like, eh, okay, fine, I'll get it. Um, New Mutant Special, number one. A while back, this was a pretty hot book. Um, Dollar, I'll get it. Uncanny X Men 205, I'll get that. Any any 200 Wolverine cover X Men for a dollar, I'll I'll buy all day. A nice Adam Hughes Tomb Raider cover for a dollar. A nice Swamp Thing 67. This has the Hellblazer one preview in it. Eh, that's a dollar. New 52 number one. Okay. We're still in the dollar bin here. Captain America, number three. It's the first appearance of the, the character who becomes the New Falcon. He's not the New Falcon in this one. I've shown this one before. But it's the first appearance of that particular character. Um, I'll pick this one up for a dollar whenever I see it all day long. All-Star Squadron, number 25. First appearance, Adam Smasher and Jade. And this one, I was super happy. I used to find these all the time. And I haven't found them in a long time because I think... Probably about over a year. I haven't found one in a dollar bin in a long time, but 
Uh, Rise of the Midnight Suns, Ghost Rider 28, first appearance of the Midnight Suns. Uh, I thought that was, and it's still sealed, so for a dollar, I was super happy for that. Um, yeah, it's going to be a short video, um, but it's, you know, I, I usually don't dilly-dally and talk too much. I just show, the, show them, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. We have Star Wars Jedi vs. Sith at number two. That was $3. Uh, I needed this one to complete the set. Now I have one through six in my collection, so I'm very, of Jedi vs. Sith. Uh, I saw it at another store for $10, and I almost bought it for that because I was like, oh, I really want to complete the set, but I wouldn't want to pay, I want to pay cover or less. And um, you stick with it sometimes and you can find it, so that was good. Uh, happy to find this one. This was in a dollar bin. Uh, Star Wars, Star Fader, number five. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, with all the hype about the Disney stockholder meetings and what's going on, um, I found this one. This is uh, Star Wars Adventures Shadows of Vader's Castle. It has something to do with the Acolytes. Acolytes are, are going to be a new show on Disney+. Plus. Uh, it was cover. It's an $8 cover book, so it wasn't really that cheap, but uh, whatever. It was cover. A um, little spec here. Uh, try to stay ahead of the game here. Get it when you can. So I got it. Uh, Spider-Girl 54, that was in a dollar bin. I just really like the cover. Sometimes you just see a cover that you think, oh, that's freaking cool. And it's it's holiday season, so it was very festive. But um, it was one I, I liked. I just like, it's just complete cover buy. Just like it for the cover. And it was a dollar. If it was more than that, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. Uh, this was cover. Uh, so it's like four bucks. Uh, big time Spider-Girl number one. Just the regular cover. Uh, this is uh, when Aranya is Spider-Girl, and this is like when she, it's her number one in her first um, series as Spider-Girl. So, okay, why not? This was kind of, I was happy to find in the dollar bin. This got some heat not too long ago, but um, it's definitely a dollar book. So, I found it for a dollar. I got it, Ecto Kid number one. I have no desire to find any more. Uh, at least I can say I own it, and why not? Uh, this was probably my favorite dollar find. Um, I'll show it. Uh, DC Previews 17. Found that in a dollar box. It's just, you know, the previews have gotten kind of uh, crazy for collectors. And I, I like them. I like it. They, they predate the first appearance that has them in there. Um, it's not their first appearance. So it's like a preview appearance is really what, what it should be called and what, what they are. Um, but it's... It's just, uh, it's just a cool uh, find, something I wanted far sector um, from this. And this, this was, you know, when you, find, when you find that book and you get that high, like, yes, I found it. I mean, I was looking at this book on eBay and it's $10, $20. And it's like, oh, I really want to pay $20 for this. Uh, what do I do? And I'm like, I don't want it that bad. And because um, I'd rather get like the heavy metal art germ that I showed you. But uh, I was happy to find that for a dollar. Uh, this was also in a dollar box. Hawkeye number seven, first appearance of Kate Bishop's mom, who's going to be in the TV show. Okay, cool. Uh, this is a, a Legends or a Toy Biz. It, it, this one came with the toy, so it's not the Star Wars Tales 21. It came with the toy or whatever it is, but um, it was three bucks. It seems pretty hot right now. Star Wars, anything Star Wars is hot. This was also cover. Uh, Star Wars Thrawn number six. Uh, Thrawn is pretty hot. You found some, uh, there's some first appearance or the meeting between Darth Vader and Thrawn. There's something about this book that seems to be more, um, sought after when it comes to the Thrawn series. So to find it for cover, I was happy about that for sure. Um, let's see, we got one more little pile here and then we're all caught up. Uh, speaking of Star Wars. So I found uh, two of these, one and two, uh, Star Wars from the original Marvel run. Uh, they were $5 each. Um, it has to do with uh, Rogue Squadron being mentioned, or it's their first appearance. I'm still trying to figure out what the deal is with the Rogue Squadron books, um, what direction, you know, who knows what's going to be the direction the movie goes who knows when it's going on but these were still cheap enough before they got uh, uh, more sought after so for five dollars a piece I'll get those um, found this one this was a do in, in a dollar bin 
Uh, I like it. I like these shops that take like newer comics that haven't sold and they just throw them in a dollar bin. Um, and then you look around stuff and find, I'm sure I've passed this one a million times, but you know, with the Star Wars heat, it's, just, it's kind of a cool cover. It's the first appearance of like Elliot Nast or in Nast or inverse Nast or there's a first appearance in it, but, um, that character there, but, um, you know, for a dollar, I'll get it. Uh, this was also in the dollar box, just, uh, an amazing Spider-Man 537 variant. I was like, okay, I'll get it. Uh, this was $5. I think uh, I'm, I'm going to, if I could find affordable Tomb of Dracula blade covers, uh, I think that's on my list of stuff to find. Um, this is Tomb of Dracula number 51, it's $5, it looks good, it's, it's pretty good condition, I'd say definitely VF, um, five bucks, can't go wrong. Um, this was $4, uh, I'm probably missing about 10 comics now for my Deadpool, well, this volume, my one through 69 run. Uh, if, I, if I see them under $5 and they're on my list of the ones I don't have, I'm just gonna buy it. So to find it uh, for $4, uh, I'm chipping away at that run here. Super happy to find this one. This one I, I actually found before, before the Disney uh, um, investor meeting, but they were, it's, X-Wing Rogue Squadron 25, and the reason why I got it was because it had uh, its Grand Admiral Thrawn's first appearance outside of Heir to the Empire. So uh, I was like, oh, that's cool. Five bucks, I'll get it. So I got that one. I'll save these for the end of the wall books. We're saving some wall books for the end. Um, this was cover, uh, just uh, a Star Wars I didn't have. First appearances in it. Everyone's, I'm, I'm on the train. So for cover, I was like, eh, I'll just get that one. Now we're back to some dollar books. I just like the cover. Nothing fancy or knowing about it. Death, the time of your life, rumored to be, uh, you know, if they're doing anything with death, this is gonna be the storyline they're gonna do. Okay, fine, it was a dollar. I'll get it. Uh, let's see here, we got jackpot number two. I need, this was a dollar, I needed this one to complete my, my set of one, two, and three, so I got jackpot one, two, and three, that was a dollar. Um, I don't know, the 80s kid in me was saw this for a dollar in decent condition. I was like, okay, fine, I'll get it. Uh, this is just a New 52 variant. Nothing fancy about it, not even saw it after or anything like that, but for a dollar, okay. Uh, this is, was for also for a dollar, uh, Mighty Avengers number one. Uh, it's like the Deadpool cover variant, but I got it because Monica Rambeau, this is the first time she goes by the code name Spectre. Spectrum? Spectrum. So I was like, oh, okay, I need to get that. I, I, you know, it's a dollar. Um, I'll get it. If it, was, if it was much more than that, I probably would have left it. Uh, Fantastic Four, 232 for a dollar. Uh, Superman 30, that's still sealed uh, for a dollar. Um, Invaders, number eight. This is the first appearance of the second Union Jack, third Union Jack. I don't know, one of the Union Jacks, but it's his first appearance. And, um, it was a dollar, so I got it. And uh, my last little bit here, we're gonna go with the Green Lantern theme. These were a dollar. So I was like, okay, I need little Jessica Cruz, uh, bass speculation on the Green Lanterns, number one. Just because the number ones, they were, and they were a dollar, I couldn't pass them up. So that's what I've been up to this week. I think it was um, a pretty uh, fruitful week of finding some good deals. Um, Oh, nope, I forgot my wall books. Just kidding, we got the wall books at the end here, so. Um, and of course, the three wall books I got and they're Star Wars books, but um, whatever, I'm just gonna show them. <laughs> so, you know, the collector in me, you know, I'd love to find everything for cover, but sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet and, and just get the stuff that makes you happy. So these these definitely did not cost you cover. Um, the funny thing is, see, back in June, I found two of these for cover, and then I flipped them, um, and I did well with the flip. You know, it's like a fifty buck, fifty dollar comic. So, um, I think I probably walked away with maybe, you know, I don't know, I don't know what I sold them for, forty bucks, fifty bucks, I don't know. Um, it was back in June, so I was like, okay, cool. And um, now I'm like, man, I wish I didn't do that. I wish I didn't do that. And I saw this; it was it was thirty bucks on the wall there. Or, yeah, it was 30 bucks, and I was like, 
okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm, I want it. I have regret from the others of letting it go. So um, I got it. The Age of the Republic special, number one, the variant. So I got that. The other two all books I got was this one, Star Wars Jedi and Shock T. It was 20 bucks. Um, it's just a, a pretty cover. I just liked it. Didn't, um, they had the uh, um, Samuel L. Jackson one, the Mace Windu one, for, but that had a $150 sticker on, price on it. I'm like, I can't, I, I can't do that one. And then like the next day when I went or the day after I went, it was already gone. <laughs> so it didn't stay very long. But uh, I also got this one, uh, Star Wars uh, Jedi uh, One-Shot Yoda. Um, that was $30. So uh, I was like, okay, I'll get this one. Um, just, uh, it's a cool cover. Um, Yoda. I wanted it, so I got it. So these were my wall books I got this week. So, so and, and they were definitely a little bit more, more money than, than I like to spend, but... I, I've done well with other stuff, and it's just it's just fun to get what you like. So, um, I, you know, I can say I have it; and it's in the collection. Anyways, that's what I've been up to this week. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the video, and uh, I'll keep hunting and keep sharing. Thanks.